Are you using the Contest app and wondering what all the functions are? If so, you'll get an introduction in this video. Hey, my name is Mel here from Contest Tax Consulting, and in this video, we're going to take a closer look at the Contest app. That means you get an overview of the basic structure, what you can do with it, and why it's so good for you. And for that, I'm going to take a look at the app on my phone here. When you open the app, at the top, you see your account balance, and that is the total money you have in the account. For me, that's about 5,800 euros. This here is the most important function of the Contest app. There are three pots. That means you have three pots of money in your Contest app. If you are self-employed, then you know that not all the money in your bank account is actually yours, because you always have to put aside money for taxes. As an employee, the whole thing is relatively easy because your employer does everything for you. If you earn 5,000 euros gross, then your employer will pay your health insurance, pension insurance, pay the taxes, and transfer the rest that is actually yours afterwards. This means that if you have a gross income of 5,000 euros, you will receive something around 3,000 euros. When you're self-employed, it is a little different. Not only do you get 5,000 euros, but you also get the sales tax on top. So you get around 5,950 euros transfer, but you can still only spend 3,000 euros. It is relatively difficult to keep an overview how much you actually have to put aside for income tax, Gewerbesteuer, or Umsatzsteuer and many self-employed people lose track of this. Other, more structured self-employed people somehow keep an Excel list, which is incredibly time-consuming and also difficult when you have to keep track of several years. This always becomes difficult and time-consuming. This is exactly the thinking behind the Contest app. The Contest app has two money pots. The first pot of money is yours. We call it yours. The second money pot is called taxes, where you'll find income tax and Gewerbesteuer and reserves. Why did we combine them? The first reason is that many self-employed people don't have to pay any Gewerbesteuer at all, so they won't need a separate pot for that. But if you have to pay Gewerbesteuer, then you can credit that against your income tax. To put it simply, what you pay in Gewerbesteuer, you pay less in income tax. It doesn't really matter if you're a businessman or a freelancer, you pay about the same amount of taxes, and that's why there's only one pot for taxes. Here, you will find an overview of how much you should set aside for taxes. Right now, this is at zero euros. We will come to that in a moment. The third pot is for the Umsatzsteuer. That means all the current Umsatzsteuer that you get from your customers and reduced to the Umsatzsteuer from your expenses. That's what you'll find here. Here also, we're still at zero euros. We'll now have a look at why that is. In order to have a daily updated overview of your tax situation, you have to look at each transaction once and categorize it briefly. Why is that? Because not every transaction has the same taxation impact. For example, if you deposit money privately into your account, then it doesn't affect your taxes at all. Of course, it makes a difference in your tax calculation if you make an income tax prepayment or a customer has paid an invoice. And that's why all transactions must be categorized in the Contest app. Let's take a closer look at this based on my account. The first transaction comes from Contest GmbH. They were kind enough to pay me an invoice that I had sent them in the amount of 5,950 euros. When I click on this transaction, then the selection window opens so that I can categorize the transaction. There are many possible income types and they all have different sales tax rates. By default, we have three possible UST rates in Germany. That is either 19%, 7%, or 0%. Because of the Corona regulation in 2020, there are also the reduced tax rates of 16 and 5%, which you can still find in the app. In addition, it is of course possible that I have transferred money from a private account or it might be a tax refund for income tax or Umsatzsteuer. I have to select that here now because everything is handled differently in terms of taxation. In this case, however, it is income with 19% Umsatzsteuer. In the detailed view of the transaction here, you can see exactly what happened. I see the gross amount, that is 5,950 euros, and subtracted from that the amount of the Umsatzsteuer. 
This is the amount of UST that I have indicated on my invoice, which is 950 euros in this example. That means 950 euros of this income go directly into the Umsatzsteuer part. From the net amount, so the 5,000, I still have to set aside income tax. This is dependent on what personal income tax rate I have. In this case, for demonstration purposes, I simply put 30% in the settings. This means that Contis now sets aside another 30% of the 5,000 euros for income tax, which is 1,500 euros. I can see this overview and this calculation in the transaction overview. Let's have a look at what this does to my pots by going back. Click on the arrow in the upper left corner to get back to the normal overview. And now let's have a look at the pots. So now I have money that actually belongs to me. I've put aside 1,500 euros from tax and for the UST tax, 950 euros. But of course, not all transactions I have are incoming money. I also have costs. I can see here that I have paid an invoice to Telekom Deutschland GmbH. In my case, this is my smartphone contract for 99.90. I can also click on this transaction and I get some suggested categories. These are of course different because this time it's an outgoing transaction. An outgoing transaction can't be turnover. That's why I get other suggestions here. For Telecom, these are communication costs with a 19% tax rate. And analogous to the incoming money, I see the breakdown here as well in detail. So the total amount of 99.90 and also the amount of Umsatzsteuer, which is more or less a UST tax refund of 15 euros 95. This is the Umsatzsteuer that Telekom has indicated on its invoice during the advance return for Umsatzsteuer. What I do is that I add up all the Umsatzsteuer that I have received and deduct from that the input tax, which is the Umsatzsteuer that I have paid to other companies. In this case, it is exactly 15 euros 95. That means that because I have paid this telecom bill, I now have to pay less Umsatzsteuer by the corresponding amount and get this as credit in my Umsatzsteuer pot and this reduces that pot. The same principle applies to income tax, so I don't have to pay tax on my turnover, but I only have to pay tax on my profits for the income tax. With each expenditure, I reduce my profit and thereby the calculation basis for the income tax sinks and thus also the income tax naturally sinks. Therefore, with every expenditure that I make, which reduces the profit, I get an accounting tax credit. In this case, also 30% of the net expenditure, which is 25 euros 18 that I pay less in taxes because I had these telecommunication costs, which I can now see here in the overview. Again, I'll go back once and look at what that actually means in the overview. Now that I have categorized all my transactions, I know that from the total balance on my account, 3,441 euros belong to me personally. I have to put aside 1,475 euros for the income tax and 934 euros for the UST tax. And here I can see exactly how much I have to transfer to the tax office in the next advance return for Umsatzsteuer. And I can also see how much I have to set aside for income tax this year. I also have to make quarterly advance payments. And that then only reduces the pot for income tax or for the advance return for UST tax, only the UST tax pot. What I really want to stress in this video is that, of course, you can access all of your money. That means, in my case, I can still access 5,950 euros and not just mine. If I have a major purchase, but the pot mine is not enough, I can still use the entire amount. Contest will, however, inform you that in this case, you will access the tax reserves and will also show you in the respective pots how much money is still missing until the tax reserves are completely restored in your bank account. We think it makes a lot of sense to give you the flexibility to access all of your money and still have an overview over your finances at all times. I hope this video was able to give you a general overview of the Contest app. We've also made other videos about specific settings. For example, in this video, you will learn how to change your income tax settings in the Contest app. This video is about the Umsatzsteuer settings and how you can adjust those. If you have any further questions, then of course, you can always ask us a question within Contest in the chat. Otherwise, please feel free to subscribe to our channel, which you can do here.